back to another video. Today we're back with another match preview. This time it's Swansea City versus Southampton in the Sky Bet Championship this Saturday, 12.30. Kickoff at the Swansea.com Stadium. Um, so yes, the return of Russell Martin. Um, obviously we all know what happened last time we played Southampton. It was a 5-0 defeat on Boxing Day. Um, yeah, so it'll be Russell versus his former assistant Luke Williams. Um, be interesting, very similar styles of football. Obviously Southampton do have you know, better quality than us and it showed on Boxing Day. But um, I don't think I don't think we'll lose five nil. Don't get me wrong, I'm not expecting a win, but five nil I don't think we even deserved it at the time either. But um yeah, I can't see us losing five nil again, um, to be honest with you. But it is gonna be, you know, one of our tougher games of the season. So um I don't really expect to get too much out of this game. But what's your thoughts going into this? Um I think it'll definitely be a much tighter game this time around, obviously with Obviously, you know, there's going to be a different manager, isn't it? Obviously, we've got a different manager now. Um, you know, Southampton do have a lot of injuries. I know we have a couple as well, but Southampton do have a lot of key players out. Um, I've, I've also been looking at their, uh, you know, their away form this season, and it isn't actually, you know, they still get wins, of course, but, you know, they're not as convincing as they are when they play at home. You know, away from home, they, they normally only win games by only like one or two goals that they're not batting teams, you know, like they should be realistically. Um... So I think we might have a chance in this one, you know, I think, you know, at home, you know, it's going to be um, Nick Williams' first league game at home. So, you know, it should be an interesting one. Yeah, and then now on to the injury news. So as for Swans, Luke will uh, address you with the Swans injury news. Oh yeah, for the Swans, we've got four injuries. Uh, we've got Josh Key, Harrison Ashby, Josh Ginnelly and uh, Izzy Mudderley. Yeah, and then for Southampton, they've got quite a few. So they've got uh, Joe Ariba, who's away on his national duty. So obviously it's not an injury, but he, he won't be uh, available. As for the injuries, Samuel Adozi uh, with an ankle injury. James Bree with a hamstring injury. Ross Stewart with a muscle injury. Um, Kamil Dean Sulemana with a hamstring injury. And Juan Larios with an unknown injury. Um, now on to key players. So if, so if there's any Southampton fans watching this, I think these are the Swans players you need to look out for. Um, number one, I'm going to go with Carl Rush with our goalkeeper. I know he did concede five against you lot, but he's been one of our better players this season, and that was probably his worst performance of the season. Secondly, Matt Grimes, our captain, Mr. Consistent. And thirdly, I'm going to go with Jamie Patterson, who's probably been our best player this season. But uh, would you add anyone else? Um, I think, yeah, yeah, I'll stick those players. And I'll, I'll also add uh, Jamal Lowe on there, just because he does add the extra bit of quality. Um, you know, we got a nice goal against um Birmingham. I know he did end up drawing that game, but I thought he had a very, I thought he played very well, and I think he's been a really good addition. Um, to our side, and, <coughs> and I think he's been a good signing for us. So, yeah, I'll add Jamal to that list. Yeah, and then as for Southampton, then so um, the first player I'm going to go with is former uh, Swan Ryan Manning. I played well against us on Boxing Day in fairness. Secondly, I'm going to go with Flynn Downs, another former Swans man. Um, and thirdly, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Adam Armstrong, um, but yeah, um, would you add anyone else? Oh uh, yeah, I am going with four players. You might think I'm over the top, but you know I think there's a lot of players you can choose out of this bunch because they are such a good team. First one I'm going for is Carlos Alcaraz. Um, I thought he was definitely one of their better players last season in the Premier League, even though they got relegated. Um, you know, you know, I think him and James Wood Price were the two outstanding players them last season. And you know, I, feel, I still feel like he's um, a player that should, be, should, you know, should be playing above this level. Um, I think he's a very good player. That's you know, I think Southampton are very lucky to have him. Um, you know his creativity, you know his skill that he's got. You know, I think he's a, a terrific player. So I'll go for him. Uh, second one I'll go for is Kyle Walker Peters. Um, in all honesty, maybe in a couple of years could see him in the England setup. I think he's a really good right back. And I know England, you know, do have a lot of right back options, but maybe even as a bench player, I'd say. Um, you know, someone who could potentially come on and make an impact and maybe get assists or something. I think he's that good of a player. Uh, and then my last two players will go for Taylor, uh, Taylor Howard Bearless. Um, I think he's a good centre half. Pretty sure he was at Burnley last season, and uh, you know he, he did terrific there. You know he's had a lot of uh, loan spells, but you know I do rate him, and I think he's definitely one of their better defenders. And then lastly, I'll go for Ryan Fraser, a player who's got a lot of experience. He used to play for Newcastle, played for Bournemouth. So, you know, he's got that Premier League experience under his belt. And I think he's definitely a player that should be playing um, above his level. So, I'll go for those four players. Yeah, and then uh, the team lineup are going to go then. So, in goals, I'm going to go with Carl Rushworth. Right back, I'm going to go with Harry Darling. Two centre halves, I'm going to go with Bashir Humphreys and Nathan Wood. Left back, Josh Tyman. Three midfield, Matt Grimes, Joe Allen, and Charlie Patino. And up front, I'm going to go with 
Jamie Patterson, Yannick Balassi, and Jamal Lowe. But what's your lineup? Um, well, I think yeah, I think I stick that lineup. I'd make two changes though. I think I'd bring in Jay Fulton for for Joe Allen because I just don't feel like Joe Allen has that match fitness to really start from the get go or maybe even start the whole game. So I think we should put um Jay Fulton in there for now and then maybe bring Allen on with the last half hour or so. Um, and then the other player I'll go for is I'll bring Sam Parker um, in for Yannick Balassi because I feel like he definitely deserves a show. I think he's been you know, quite decent for us. I thought he was okay against Black, against uh, Birmingham. So yeah, I'll play him instead of Balassi. Cause I, in all honesty, I haven't read Balassi so far since he joined the club. Um, you know, no goals, no assists. That just says it all. So yeah, I'll put Sam Parker instead of Yannick Balassi. Yeah, and then finally the score prediction then. As I said, I don't think it'll be 5-0, but I also don't think, uh, you know, anyone's really expecting anything. So I'm going to say Swansea City 1, Southampton 3. Um, I'm going to say to score for Southampton, I'm going to go with Ryan Fraser, Adam Armstrong, and let's just add Ryan Manning in because he's a former player. Um, and to score for the Swans, I fancy a Jerry Yates goal um, off the bench, or if he starts, who knows. But uh, what's your prediction? Well... Well, for you know, for a f- first time in a while, I'm actually being the more um, optimistic one. Um, I think we can definitely get a point in this game. Uh, I really think we can. You know, I think for Russell Martin, you know, it's gonna be hard for him to come back to obviously his former, you know, his former ground where he used to manage. Um, and I feel like you know, he, I feel like he will want to beat us again. But I feel like with a new manager, Luke Williams, you know, I do trust him. Um, you know, we have played some decent stuff so far on the rim. I know it's only been a couple of games, but. I'm going to go for a one-all draw. I think we can get a point in this game. Um, I'm going to go for... Yeah, I'll go for Jerry Yates to score for us. And then for Savannah, I'll go for Ryan Fraser. Yeah, once again, obviously a massive thanks for watching this. We'll be back tomorrow with a match day vlog, um, as we'll both be attending the game. So yeah, once again, a massive thanks for watching this and stay tuned for tomorrow.